I'm Mike Bradner, and this is Capital Views, and we have with us today Representative David Tallarico, who's uh, a new kid on the block, and he comes from Healy. And David, tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, where you came from, and, and what you've been doing. Well, I, I, I was born in the state of Washington, and uh, um, the Usabelli coal mine is in Healy, and my dad uh, had, been, had actually worked in the Healy area right after World War II. So he came back to Healy when I was a teenager, about 13 years old, um, to finish off his United Mine Workers time, and he was an experienced coal miner, so they were always looking for those kind of people. My folks came back and stayed for about seven years, and uh, I had started working for Usabelli Coal Mine when I was 18 years old. <clears throat> they retired and left, and I stayed behind, and I've been there ever since. I've actually been there. We came up in 1969. Um, I've lived in the Healy area for 45 years. Um, Classic hometown boy, married a, married a local girl and uh, still live there and my two children actually live there as, and my seven grandchildren. So I'm kind of spoiled. That's pretty amazing. I mean, you, you, uh, and Healy is, uh, I don't know, what's the population? Well, it's Denali Borough. Yeah, Denali yeah. Borough. The, the population of the borough is near 2,000 people. The Healy area has got about 1,000 people, but uh, my wife and I are very blessed to keep both of our children there and have all of our grandchildren there as well. Um, we, we're very fortunate in that respect because we've, uh, the kids graduated from the same high school that we graduated from, so um, it's kind of a unique situation for us, for sure, and I've, I've got other family in the Healy area as well. What possessed you to uh, dive into the, you know, the swirl of politics? Well, you know, years ago I got interested. I, I never really had any interest in local politics, and then I'd served on a couple of uh, voluntary boards. I served on a Tri-Valley Volunteer Fire Department Board to help operate the fire department. And I got involved with the borough with the Land Use Planning Committee and I did that for several years and then the borough assembly actually did something that I had some questions about and so I went to my very first borough assembly meeting uh, complaining and a friend of mine said well you know if you're going to complain about it maybe you should get involved in it. Well I decided to run for office and won a seat on the borough assembly and a year later I chose to run for borough mayor because we had a candidate that was running and he was running unopposed and I thought it was important enough that people should at least have competition and uh, to my surprise I actually won that election and uh, the good people of the Denali borough uh, saw fit to elect me four more times so I was actually the mayor of the Denali borough from 2002 to 2012 um, and then I came down and worked as a legislative staffer for someone in the House of Representatives. I worked as a chief of staff for one year. And then I, I left and went back home. I kind of vowed that I was done with public service and I would never do this again. And now I find myself so, in the legislature. Here you are. <laughs> what are your particular interests that, uh, uh, you know, we're in a pretty tough period. Uh, but, you know, do you have things that you would like to see happen? And, well, you know, we are, and I'm, uh, I've, I've spent most of my adult life in the mining industry. Uh, my wife and I, though, also, we, we ran a business in the tourist industry, and of course I've been involved in municipal politics, uh, and worked and served as a municipal official, but I'm, I'm very interested in expanding Alaska's potential, in particularly with our resources, so that we can diversify our income stream, um, not only for the state, but of course for the people that live in Alaska, and especially for our kids and our grandkids that want to build a life here and stay in Alaska. I think a diverse uh, economy is probably going to be our key in the future. And we have a tremendous amount of resources. I, of course, want to develop those resources responsibly, which I think we can do. But I think it's going to be really important for our future to have a diverse income coming in and uh, diversify our economy and kind of give our youngsters some hope. Now, is Houston Valley our longest operating, continuous operating mining operation? I'm pretty sure that Houston Valley is. Yeah, they're over 70 years old. Yeah, they've been mining for 70 years. And of course, uh, unbelievable changes in the mining industry over the years with new technology and, and the way things are done. Um, and Houston Valley is one of the six largest mines in the state, the only operating coal mine. Uh, at this particular point. So uh, they've been around a while. Usabelli coal mine started before statehood. Well before, 
statehood, yes, I would think. He, yes. Yeah, what? Yeah. Joe Zabelli is what, his father? Yeah, uh, Joe Zabelli oh, Sr.'s father, Emil, actually started in the mining industry in the Healy area. And I believe that uh, he, he started working actually cutting timbers for uh, the underground operations that were in the Suntrana area years ago. And then he eventually got his own mining operation going, and uh, they've they've uh, been mining there for a long time. Now you're co-chair of of uh, resources. Yes, I am. And yeah. So that puts you right in, in the home territory of your interest. Yeah, it really does. And of course, you know, a lot of the focus on resources in Alaska is oil, and a lot fish. of uh, fish, oil, <laughs> fish, right. um, timber industry, you know, used to be very thriving here in the southeast, and of course, that's changed over the years, uh, but there's still, there's still timber available, and uh, gas is the big subject right now, you know, and uh, working on the Alaska liquid natural gas project coming off of uh, the North Slope is a big, big deal, and, it, and there's been a lot of activity in Cook Inlet recently. Um, you know, with a lot of things happening. So uh, that's very promising for us. We've got a, a, trying to pursue a big project that will provide a lot of financial security in the future for the state. But uh, I'd still like to uh, work on some of that diversification as well. You know, the, we can't control the oil market and the gas market. Uh, uh, market prices change on a regular, well, really on a daily basis for a lot of those commodities. So a diverse economy, I think, is going to be crucial to us in the future. And we also will have to understand that, you know, if we're going to export minerals, why we're in dealing with world price, and uh, you have to be prepared to deal with that. Absolutely. And I, what I kind of hope is we'll kind of get the ball rolling, and future generations will figure out a way to produce value-added products with what we have up here. Um, it's phenomenal when I look at a resource map, all of the things that are actually available to us and the potential to someday manufacture. My parents used to tell me all the time when I was a child, the world gets smaller and smaller the older you get. And I've just watched from the time I can remember what transportation was like when I was a kid compared to now. Um, my parents were very accurate with that. So we probably have that potential in the future to actually build industry here in the state. And uh, I think it takes a particular attitude to do that, but I see that attitude in our young people. We're out of time, and uh, it's been a pleasure to have you here. And uh, you bring up, you know, a, a real needed expertise to the legislature, I think. And this is Mike Bradner and Capital Views, and we've been talking to Representative David Tallarico from Healy. Thank you. Thank you.